Hey everybody, welcome to another one of my videos. So something came about, there's some news in, in vault regarding the Jehovah's Witnesses this week that I could just not avoid not talking about. That is that they announced on their website that they will be resuming in-person meetings starting on April 1st. Well, of course, naturally, my first thought was, is this an April Fool's joke? Well, no. That's me trying humor and sucking at it, I know. <laughs> well, okay, sorry. I have a really weird sense of humor anyway, so... <laughs> you know, but you're naturally thinking, like, we're in... We're in COVID, everybody's being a lot more cautious and a little germaphobic. They've been... They haven't been going to meetings since COVID started. Like, you know, I can just really imagine that a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses would really have mixed feelings about this. Going back to the meetings in person. You know, I could see how some would just get really, really comfortable with only having to do the meetings over Zoom makes it a lot easier for them too. You know, I've noticed in my area too, I think as many other regions, the majority of other religions have been able to keep their doors open throughout COVID and depending on what the local restrictions are, like on and off, more so than the Jehovah's Witnesses who have just fully kept the Kingdom Halls just fully closed. Um, I've been by a couple of the Kingdom Halls in my area just out of sheer curiosity. I would, I would not attempt to go inside, no, but I just wanted to see the front doors had, still have notices up that, you know, they're closed. You know, I think a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses have really come to enjoy the Zoom meetings likely a lot more than going back in person. I think it would um, naturally just create a lot of stress and anxiety for the thought of a good many Jehovah's Witnesses about having to go back to in-person meetings. Now I made just a small list of like of like some of the pros and cons of Zoom as opposed to in-person. And what I wrote down, you know, for Zoom, it's easier, it's cheaper on gas, to save on gas money. You know, you could kind of just sit at home and keep the camera off or just, you know, it's easier to, like, not really listen on a Zoom meeting, just do your chores or, <laughs> you know. You know, I think it, it's e easier for those trying to fade because, you know, like I have to say, I'm going to get into it a little bit more. It's a, if there's ever a perfect opportunity to leave, I think this time of only Zoom meetings has been like one of like a really good opportunity to do so. Okay, so my other list, as opposed to in-person meetings, well, you got to get dressed up. You know, I think now over this pandemic and staying home a lot, I hope there's not too many witnesses that might have to buy new clothes. <laughs> Again, or, you know, get used to the dressing up and it's more preparation and to do parts at the hall. You know, you got the travel time the gas, you're going to be spending more on gas, more travel time, you got to sit through the meetings now. Like now you really got to make sure you've, you really have studied and gone over for, for the meetings because you know, not as easy to just sit there and not, and pretend you're not listening. And you know, and then you might, you'll be back in association with people that you might not necessarily want to be around, you know, like some of the elders or elderettes or it's, oh yeah, 
<laughs> and just over the pandemic too, I think a lot of us, like especially, like really had this thought of question pop up. I'm like, I wonder if the society is ultimately going to aim for them to never go back to meetings at some point. You know, I'm wondering if it's just a money grab too. For me, I thought maybe one reason they want back to in-person meetings is so that they can increase the amount of money that people are donating to. And you know, just I really think one of my really big curiosities is I'm wondering how empty some of the Kingdom Halls are going to be. How many less people are going to be there, which includes like those who don't, those who are not comfortable to go back, who don't feel safe, but also those who have faded and those who may have finally taken this opportunity to leave. I really think the halls are going to be emptier for sure. So, you know, one thing when news comes up like this in the Watchtower, I always like to reflect and I always like to ask myself how would I have likely have felt how would I likely have felt had I still been a witness you know and it's almost embarrassing to say my answer but I'm gonna say it <laughs> well I know myself well enough that you know if I was still in okay for me um I probably would have been happy to return to the in-person meetings. I know for myself, just um, because that's gaining friendships and a sense of community is one of the things that initially drew me in. To me, being able to meet in person like that is would be something that would help me, help keep me in. I would not like the idea of Zoom meetings. And you know what? I don't I don't really mind dressing up. I didn't mind going to the meetings. I was really shy and disinterested in, in doing parts or commenting, but as far as just going to the meetings, I didn't really mind it overall. Well, until the last few years. You know, having Zoom only meetings, I probably <laughs> It probably would have discouraged me a lot. It might, you know, I really think if I hadn't have left just before that, the the Kingdom Hall's closed Zoom meeting situation probably would have been a real waking up process for me otherwise. So that's just, that's just my thought. That's just... That's, that's just me though. I know I know a lot are happier with Zoom meetings rather than going in person. You know, for any PMOs during this time of COVID and the Kingdom Halls closed, I'm I know the thought of having to go back to the meetings would be an increase of would be an increase of stress and anxiety on them once again because you know oh man what am i going to do now <laughs> crap <laughs> well i just have one small tip to offer any current pmos i just because you know i know myself leaving is hard it took me about, the process took me about a little over a year to complete. So I know it takes a lot of bravery and one of the key factors involved in finally exiting is timing, for sure. But I would say, maybe think of it this way, that, you know, like a band-aid, if you peel off a band-aid really slowly, it hurts more and you're just dragging it out and you know 
ugh. Yeah, why not just, you know, just rip it off? You know, three, two, one. <laughs> you know, it actually hurts a lot less. And I've done that myself, and doing it that way is just, oh, that wasn't so bad. You know, I really think this Zoom meeting these past couple of years have, have really been a great opportunity for many PMOs to finally make their exit. You know, I think, yes, it'll be pain and suffering at first a little. Yeah, but that's really unavoidable. And I can definitely tell you, you won't, it won't, it won't last. You know, there's a lot of help and friendships out there. It's not as bad as the witnesses would make you believe it is. Trust me, the long run, you're going to be much happier. Like, don't let the pain of it make you too scared to do it in the first place. You know, it's just something, it's kind of too, like, you got, like, you know you want to leave, you got to do it at some point, like, why keep dragging it out forever, just do it. And then, you know, when, when you rip the band-aid off, and that wound heals up, and then the scar, and then eventually fades away, and it's all good again, hey. So, in my conclusion, I just think, yes, this will be an interesting. And this, back to the meetings. I can, I can hear a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses in my head now. Oh, I don't want to go back. Oh, really? Oh, come on. With gas prices the way they are right now, are you crazy? <laughs> but I'm also curious, man. I wish I had, like, a... I wish I could tap into their like like a camera in some of these kingdom balls just to see how empty some of them might be <laughs> but i think it's another one of those things you know like like the jehovah's witnesses like over the years and like all their literature and everything they say about the in-person meetings like it, it's such an integral part of being a witness at least it has been for so many decades like like your whole spirituality relationship with Jehovah is based is based a lot on how regular you, how regular you are at the meetings you know like whether you're a ministerial servant or elder or how many parts you give or if you comment and you know like <laughs> works rather than faith kind of thing so I think uh It's kind of a tough spot because, like, yeah, Zoom meetings are great, but there's nothing that beats that meeting together in person and associating. I think the Jehovah's Witnesses would might lose a lot of, of their appeal if they didn't have in-person meetings anymore, but that's just me. I don't know. Maybe they would do, I don't know. Whether they'll become a completely online organization is yet to be seen. We don't know yet. We'll just have to wait and see more. But I think another thing, concluding thought to to end my video with, I think it's their in-person meetings is, you I don't know how long it might last either. We'll have to see and how it plays out to how long it will last. So nobody really knows. But anyways, that's all I have to say about them on that little topic. I thank everybody for watching my video. Please hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye-bye.